Well, you got to carry a special guest today, Sharita Freeman, the director of athletics here at Lafayette College. Sharita, it is so nice to sit down. Nice, quiet little break time here uh, in a basketball game. Great to have you. Uh, thank you for having me. It's good to be back. Well, we were talking off the air a little bit about what a fall it's been. I mean, just a wonderful fall, uh, a fourth rank in the President's Cup right now. I mean, Lafayette, just everything pointing, the arrow is pointing up. Absolutely. There's a lot of energy and enthusiasm around the success that our teams have been having. That certainly feels great. Um, we've only gotten the tip of the iceberg accomplished there. I think there's so much more that we want to do. Um, but everything's pointed in the right direction. The, the success from our fall teams was phenomenal. Um, we had two teams in the championship game, which I couldn't be more proud of. Um, but certainly feeling like, you know, those teams are there. They, we want to win the championship. We want to bring home the trophy. And so um, we've got some more work to do. Now walking around the office and meeting with all the good DFS, find that energy up there because to me it just feels like there's energy in the entire building yes there is there's a lot of excitement there's a lot of energy there are a lot of student athletes that are cheering for each other i mean if you go back to some of those games in the fall semester with seeing the student athletes supporting each other the faculty the staff there was just a lot of excitement um, a lot of energy and a lot of people who wanted to support our teams and want to be there and that's what you want you want that community and school spirit you want us to have a product on the field or the product on the court that our fans can be proud of that they they want to be here for and I'm so excited that we're we're finally starting to feel that a little bit yeah and, and I didn't watch Jeffrey Corden bro I couldn't watch I was so nervous I couldn't watch that but that must have been a heck of a feeling as well oh my gosh to be there for that for that win and um, to feel that kind of excitement at a game um, I've been to a lot of games in my athletic career and played in a lot of games in my athletic career and there's there's nothing like beating a, a rival and being able to do that on their home field and so I, I was happy to be there and certainly happy that our fans and our students yeah. had something to celebrate that day. Well, there were so many accolades. Obviously, Malik Cam and Keegan Shoemaker and Krista Kissel in, in soccer and, and uh, Vandergeest and, and Villa. I mean, just the accolades just kept pouring in. Absolutely. And to add to that, we had the Coach of the Year honors with Jennifer Stone, who's one of our alums as well. Um, so certainly, you know, to have the wins on the field, but to also have the individual accolades match that as well um, really shows that our coaches have done a phenomenal job in the recruiting process. But then also, too, they're bringing in the right student athletes. They're developing him developing them and they're performing on the field as well now along that line not only on on the field of play but academically I mean you're your seventh ranked nationally you're number one in the Patriot League in graduation rate that's got to be a warm feeling yes 98 um, percent uh, graduation rate is is phenomenal um, to have that ranking nationally is certainly phenomenal as well but what it demonstrates is that our student athletes are truly scholar athletes and they're here to to go to school to perform well in the classroom to build on their careers beyond their sports and that feels great too that's the kind of environment that I've always wanted to be in and so to have that level of success here makes me feel pretty good inside as well. Yeah, it's been so fun to watch, and I have so many alums that contact me on a daily basis and talk about what's going on on the Hill, and they get excited, and it's so much. Let, let's talk about, you know, everybody says, well, we set late the foundation. Are we turning the corner? Is that the way you look at it? Yes, absolutely, and I, I really see it as a, a strategic process, and we really need to take things step by step. And so for us, we, we laid the foundation, we set out some strategic goals, we have our strategic plan in terms of climbing the hill, but we really need to continue to, to stay with our, our eyes on the prize and stay focused on really trying to develop things in a way that creates a strong foundation for the future. And so for us, we're building on our vision, we're building on our mission, we're building on our recruiting, um, and certainly trying to ensure that we have the stability that's needed for the future of Lafayette Athletics, not just, you know, have a flash in a pan and then that's it, but we want to make sure that this is something that we can do pretty consistently. Now, I see interaction between you and a lot of the players, not just the women, but the men. I mean, the interaction you have, that the approachability that you have, that means a lot to a player uh, that can not only approach their coach, but approach someone like yourself. Yeah, and that's something that we've talked about amongst our leadership team. We want to be approachable. We want our student athletes to know us. We want to have a presence. And so whether it's traveling with the teams here at practice, here at the games, giving them high fives, whatever we need to do to interact well um, with our coaches and with our student athletes so they know us and they feel comfortable for us, I think that creates the environment for success. Um, you want people to feel like you care. And I've always been uh, an administrator who starts with the, the object of, I want want you to know that I care about you and I want to see you have success and so if you start with that point I think the student athletes feel that they know that and they gravitate towards that absolutely and and I know it's a team concept but with you at the helm I mean it's it's such a great feeling and I think we're all pointed in the right direction thank you so much 
We're looking forward to a great spring as well, right? Yes, absolutely. I can't wait. Um, the, the spring semester is getting started, obviously. We're well underway in our winter seasons, and our winter teams, both men's and women's basketball, look fantastic so far. Um, and so I'm just excited for what the future holds. So thank you for having me. Yeah, basketball is like a, is like a bridge to the spring. So thank you again so much. Appreciate it for a little bit of time. Uh, absolutely. You're welcome. Gary, we're all headed in the right direction. Back to you. Thanks, Mike. Uh, John and I are inspired. We'll come back, <laughs> and we'll see how inspired John is when we look at the numbers. Stay with us.